Hello everyone, welcome back. Got a, another episode here. Nice day, not so humid. Still warm. <laughs> Almost to the 80s out here. In the 70s, upper 70s, lower 80s. Oh man, what a busy day. All right, I'm radio. Forgot to take the light lock off. Always forget to do that for some reason. Always. I get everything ready. I get the batteries ready. I get the, uh, the bike ready and everything. And I forget to unlock the bike. Anyways, waste more time. Anyways, I'm not going anywhere special. I'm actually doing a little bit off-road scouting. Scouting. Let's turn the bike on. Okay. Bike is on. Ooh, the seat is warm. All right. I don't have my uh, neoprene boots or anything. Uh, let's see. I'll go out. Uh... I should have gone out the other way, but that's all right. I'll go out this way instead. Uh, uh. Okay, let's get going here. All right. Oh. A little bit narrower right here. All right. All right, I'm going to take the... Uh, I'll be taking the levee system here. That's where I'm going today. Going to the levee system. I like riding in the levee system. sound a little bit better. Oh, the rear brakes sound a lot better. I did adjust them. I did adjust the rear brake. Oh, still a little squeaky, but better. All right, the lyric system is right around here. It's just a quick ride. I just want to get a nice ride in today. It's a little bit of scouting as well. So I'm going to scout and ride today. Oh, they cut the grass here, thank goodness. go down the street but today I'm gonna to be crossing the street all right so I'm gonna go through the levee system here I'm just scouting for a potential uh, Just scouting for any potential. Uh... Ooh, really windy out here. So I'm scouting for potential areas to uh... to uh... go bird watching. I need to go over here. There we go. It's been a while since I've been here, so. All right, this is probably like a pipeline area. So, I'm on gear three. 
pedal assist uh, three. This is my little shortcut. I want to make sure I don't run into anything either. So I think a little pipeline, gas pipeline runs through here most likely. something there. Jeez. See, warning, gas pipeline. So. Looks like they've been cutting a lot. Clear they, they cleared the trees out here. Jeez. All right. I got to get in the uh, lower gear here. Got the gates locked here. Sometimes I have it open, sometimes I have it locked. The corner out there seems to be open, so I'm going to try to sneak in through the corner. Let's have a look here. I think there's a corner down there. It's open, so let me just go down there. Oh, there's a nice little orange tree. Oh, sweet. This little corner has been uh, moved. Oh, all right. Awesome. Awesome for me. Oh, going up incline. Oh, ooh, it's actually pretty beautiful out here. The tall grasses. I don't know if you can see that. It has this little purple hue to it that... Uh, or, or purple or magenta hue to it and the crickets you hear the crickets around here let me get off the bike and enjoy the uh, landscape some people have more la better landscape than mine but unfortunately uh, this is what I got so I have to appreciate it. There's that pipeline right over there that goes through. But man, if you look out there, you can see uh, the grass. Oh, that's this natural wild grass out here. Makes it look purple or magenta. Huh. Nice. Anyways, just want to enjoy that. Stop and smell the roses, so to speak. Uh, I gotta check up on my time here. Okay. Looking for birds, wildlife, anything interesting, scouting. That's what I like to do, kind of come hang out around the levees with my binoculars. Check it out. I don't see anything. Uh, let's get into third gear. There we go. Uh, it's warm actually today. Uh, hear the crickets. I'm gonna go where I'm gonna go but let's just have some fun today oh it looks like they extended that fence for some reason oh why they do that just ruining my ride there
kind of ruining my ride. I don't want to ride down this thing. Uh, I'll just walk it around. The other side is open. Mm. So let's just do that, shall we? Looks a little too slick up there. It looks like people have been riding their carts around this thing. Their golf carts or their off-roading, their ATV. That's a little too steep for me. Well, it's not, but it's just bare dirt. Don't like that. Ugh. After you get a few, uh, well, after you break your hand, after you from, from flipping over your bike, you know, you tend to uh, take things a little bit more slowly. Uh, it's kind of muddy right here. Uh, it's not that muddy, actually. It's dry, but just get on it. Concrete. And they extended the fence down here. And you got a lower my gear to go up here. And when I get get to the high ground, pedal assist up, pedal assist five. Oh. Oh. All right. Nice. Kind of nice to be out here. Oh, they cut the grass, which is sweet. Ugh. I think it's really shaky out here. Ugh. So I'll just go slower and go to the lower gear and uh, pedal this down a little bit more. If you go slower, you tend to uh, not uh, not feel the bumps as much, even though I'm on this. I have a front suspension fork and uh, suspension seat post. It just makes the ride a little bit more pleasant. Ugh. I'm starting to get a little hot. done out here. They have a power line out here. Here's that little retention pond. Wow, it's kind of low. Retention pond's really low out here. We I guess we haven't had rain. Ooh, I just saw, I just saw two birds right there. Make that three. Really bright blue feathers. They're right there. Oh, make that four. There's another bird. You probably can't see it. I didn't bring my binoculars. I didn't bring that because I just wanted to ride. This might be a nice area just to kick back and watch the birds fly around. This is also where I saw the biggest alligator since I live here, since I've been living here. Um, it was right out there. I was taking my youngest for a ride on the Rewrite Co-Pilot when I first got it. And uh, I was over there, we were riding around, and uh, it, was, it was big. It was the biggest one I've ever seen. It was fat and long, had its mouth open on a really hot day. So I might just kick it here for my next ride when I do my uh, safari. <laughs> My little backyard safari. Okay. Yeah, the water is really low. I'm surprised. It's rained, but I guess I guess it's been dry as well. Oh, by the way, the election, 2020 election. Whew. They're still figuring out who won the election, 2020. 
man. I don't know. It's, it seemed, it seems like it's, I don't want to say rigged, but man, they're trying to keep everybody in suspense. Anyways, I think a couple, a couple more days we're going to find out real soon here. Hopefully it's not going to take weeks. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, preparing myself for any civil unrest or rioting that might go on because it's that crazy out here although I don't think it's going to be that crazy but I am I am prepared I should say so someone left their cooler out there I see a cooler well maybe it just washed washed out here this flows up from a creek this levee also flows from a creek Here's that power plant, or not the power plant, but all the transformers and transistors and power lines here. Uh, this place is really dry for some reason. I don't know if that has anything to do with the, uh, the power lines. It's kind of weird why it's so dry here. I'm looking for any like birds or animals. Sometimes you can see quite a quite a few wildlife out here. I could, they could be just right down there. I just can't see them. It is really the water level is really low, and I don't want to really go into the tall grass. I'm just scouting right now, so not really interested in doing anything. I see a bird flying around right there. Let me just take a look at it. See if I could. ID that bird from a distance. Okay. I can hear the hum of the transformers. All right, let me uh, let me take a quick break. Quick break here. Listen to the crickets. And. Uh, We'll continue this ride here. Let me just enjoy the scenery. It's really nice out here today. All right. See you all later. See you next time, everybody. Ooh, nice butterfly.